In this video, I will show you how to separate materials to texture your model into Substance Painter. So here is a model that I did download for, from Spark 3D, uh, this website here. Okay, so they did just released a few days ago a new model here, the name is Spark 3D. There is a demo on, on Hugging Face. So yeah, be careful, it can be a little low, but you just upload an image, you generate and you see what they give you. You click on download and you will have a nice 3D model. So yeah, this model is very the future of uh, 3D generation, even if everything is going fast for sure. And here there is an alternative here, it's Yuhan Yuan. I did a video about it, I will put the link in the end of the video. But uh, yeah, here it lacks for texturing, it gives textures here, the other doesn't. But uh, it lacks texturing, you see the face here looks strange, you see the textures, we don't know why here it's dark and the, it's already impressive, oh, but it's not professional at all. So if you want to uh, texture this model here that I did download from the website, um, there is a way to separate materials and give a map after to uh, Substance Painter or even in Blender after if you want to. But I will just show how it works after in Substance Painter to make it work. So here, uh, here we are and we have our model and we would like to separate these shaders here. So we'll have a different shader, for example, the outside of the glass here, the glass itself, maybe some metal here, maybe some plastic here. And yeah, we would like to separate all of that. So what is good is that you can do it directly in Blender automatically with face sets. So I will show you the process. I did find it myself. I don't know if some people did had this ID before, but okay, let's go here. Uh, here I will go in sculpt mode. Okay, so here I am in sculpt mode, X symmetry, it's better. And I will just choose here a retopology, a remesh, sorry. So I will go there. I will choose a voxel size at 0.002. It depends of your model. So just to keep the geometry and uh, yeah, to keep the sharpness and everything. But to give a new topology here, it will be better for the masking after because, because we'll work with mask. Okay, so let's go here. You see, for example, just to show that, if we go into the wireframe here, oh, I did the, the remesh already, yeah. So I did the remesh already for that one, but if you didn't, uh, just make it, it's important for the process, okay? Uh, let's come back without wireframe here and just make it just in case, okay? So we'll wait a little until we have the remesh done and when it's done you can go here into mask and this is the little trick we will go into mask from cavity here so by default it will give some lines uh, a little the same way we use here with the cavity here okay it will give you the outside and the inside so the edges will be uh, not selected, everything that will be inside will be selected into the mask and we have some options over there. So what I did find for myself, it depends It depends of, uh, again, the, the model you have, maybe it will be more organic or something like that, it might change. But uh, usually I work with the settings 1.3 here, factor 0 0.8 between 0 0.8 eight and one, it might be good one. And you can increase a little the blur too, okay? It will increase a little the size of here, the mask. So maybe we can even go until 1.5 for this model, okay, to give more definition. And here we will go into the custom curve because we, we have a lot of half selected into this part here and we don't want to. So what we will do, we'll just contrast this by going lower here, okay? And it will give this kind of selection like that, okay? So if I remove that, just to show you really how it works, 
okay you will really see here the selection that we it will give kind of a tool outline that will have directly in sculpt mode here so good now what we would like to do maybe we'll increase a little decrease a little this and increase a little the blur just in case to have a thicker here trait okay so now that we have this i can come back with cavity i prefer to work with cavity uh, here we can go to face set and face set from mask okay so it will give you a new face set you see it in green here and we can remove the mask so we can clear the mask and here you can see uh, that we have a nice face set that is here good so what we'll do with this face set it's here the little trick you can just hide it just like that okay so it will give separate parts and this part if you go to face set here initialize face set and face it by boundaries boom everything is separated just like that okay now you can come back to your face sets and uh, again uh, make alt h okay to put back the one that we did high in the beginning and with that one maybe with we can make a, a little randomized colors to see a little so the one in gray it's the first one that we did create okay with this mask here uh, mask from cavity but what we want is just not to keep it but to remove it and how to remove it actually we can go directly here with this shortcut so there is a shortcut very uh, handy to manage face sets it's Control w it will grow the face set and Control alt w it will shrink the face set okay so i will just put here the shortcuts like this you will see what i do okay you will see here the shortcuts that i will use so now just by pointing here the face set in gray Control alt w and i will just go until i remove all the gray parts into my model so i just check here and look at this we have already something almost done uh, very easy so now we will just have a few tweaks to uh, clean a little the face sets but already the separations look at this it's very quick very very efficient so let's say for example we would like to take this green part here and this blue part and put it together so first of all just have a look into these parts to see if they are clean if, and if they are not like for example here this part we have some strange face sets that we don't want for example and we would like to expand this one okay so we will use this tool if you use this tool just by make a single click it will create a new face set at each click so we don't want that we just want to make control click like this and it will expand the face set that you are working on okay so if you click on the on the pink it will expand the pink if you click for example here on the blue it will expand the blue but we don't want that so we just want to expand here this okay just to clean that part so it will be it will take a little time to make this but honestly compared to the time you will spend if you have to make everything by hand it's really a time saver and it's a good process in my opinion it's the only one that i didn't find um, let's say a little effective maybe some people they will tell me that there are other ways uh, if they are I'm happy to know it and yeah you see you make just a little cleaning where it needs like for example this part over there okay here just a little bit just like that very easy not complicated just clean a little where it's ne where it needs okay so i will not make everything here just to show you how it works but basically um basically if you want to join for example to not have too much because uh when when you go after in substance painter for example you see you have two 
face set here that looks very similar, like this one and this one in colors, but they are not the same. You see, when I make H, this one stays. So uh, it's not uh, the same, but sometimes the colors are really, really closed. Uh, and when you work after in Substance Painter, it will not recognize it. So uh, the best for this is to join the it's to join some like for example let's say I would join I would like to join that one I will hide that one that one let's say that one that one that one okay and yeah maybe you will be happy with this and maybe that one okay so let's say you would like to make one entire uh, one entire face set with what I did remove so. What I will go here is I will go to Sculpt here, Invert Visible, and go to Face Set and Face Set from Visible. And now I have a new entire face set. I make Alt H and I have my first face set that is ready. And you make this for all the face sets and all the parts that you will need. So here for the glasses we are good. Here maybe there will be some kind of rubber or things like that. Here there is a little cleaning to make. Okay and etc etc you will keep maybe some parts in metals here or things like that this part may be in metal as well it's really up to you after and when you're done i will just uh so i will just make uh make this in my side and uh when you're done after you have the possibility to separate the materials <clears throat> from the face set you just have to enable a little add-on here. The name is Face Set Operator. So you go just in your extensions, you just download it. It's from the official. And then when you're finished here, you go to Face Set and you will hear uh, Face Set to materials. And it will create some materials to this. And um, yeah, so I just jump into Substance Painter and I show you. Uh, how it's easy to make after. So here is the model when the processing is finished. And here I would like to go now into Substance Painter. So let's go into Substance Painter. I did prepare the scene. I did make a retopology of this. And uh, I made, uh, I did make the textures. So here I am into my layers here. And let's say I would like to add a paint, like for example, this steel paint. I know that it works well. Okay, let's go. We have something cool. We want to change it a little. Maybe you want to remove some dirt or thing like that. Like for example, if there are too much dirt, you can just go there and remove some if needed. Okay. And maybe you can duplicate that now. Uh, maybe we can duplicate this layer, go into another color paint, okay? So let's say we would like something like blue, bluish like that, dark blue. Okay, let's keep this. And now this one, we would like to separate it. So this is the, this is why it's important. Now you go with add mask with color selection and you pick a color and you will have another selection like that. Let's say you don't like this selection, so let's go with this one, maybe. It will be better for what we want. Okay, perfect. And let's say maybe we would like to take that one as well. Okay? And you will have another selection very easily. So let's say we would like to have another one. So we will duplicate that again with Alt-click. You can do that as well. Maybe choose another color, like a white one, maybe. Let's choose something, or maybe maybe a dark one like like this the white one might be cool okay let's go there and so we have another one again you go there you make add a mask with color selection and you pick the color and you will choose maybe that one okay and you will have another layer of colors very easily you want to add some rubber or some plastic so let's say you want to go to with this rubber here for the outside of the glass here. You add the rubber and you make, again, color selection. You select the color that you want and look at this. You will have directly this. Again, if you want to make this for some glass or thing like that, you just put some glass visor here 
and let's make add a mask with color selection pick a color and you will have directly this so look at this very easily just in a few clicks you will have something that looks very believable again maybe you would like to add another uh, let's say some armor plastic or things like that or maybe another metal here like a steel dock let's see let's see a little a steel gun what it will make a little sharp okay and what about that one not that bad and what about this one here i like this one okay so maybe i will put this part this little parts with this one like let's say add mask with color selection pick a color and may, and i will take that one okay perfect and look at this we have already something that is almost finished and that we can export and that is game ready here i don't have a lot of polygons so yeah it's uh, very usable very easy to make uh, it's a little technique that i share with you so i hope uh, you did enjoy this technique and that you will use it i guess that maybe in some time maybe the textures and the separations of the meshes will be implemented in ai generated models i'm not sure about that but yeah we still need some hands we still need some uh, human hands to make the job for have something uh, that we can use uh, professionally so that's why i wanted to share to show you this uh, this technique and yeah enjoy this and show me your creations uh, i have a full course about this technique uh, that for make an entire character and i will put the link into uh, the description so see you soon enjoy life and happy blending